welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. Hey, God, people. <laughs> These guys are pretty funny. It's called Freaking Media. Now, look, uh, I got here from Lackluster, and <laughs> I like Lackluster, but man, he's pretty, he's pretty biased against cops. Now, I'm not saying these cops didn't earn the hate, and this cop is definitely going under earning the hate. But if you watch last Lackluster's video, he kind of, I mean, I think he really likes making cops look bad. And I got no problem with that. Whatever. They deserve it, uh, the way they act, especially this cop. But I would like to think I'm a little bit fair, and I'm going to give you both sides, and then you can decide. So these two guys <laughs> evidently filmed this guy, and they're kind of being... I don't know. Maybe you could say a little bit of a jerk. I mean, I don't give a shit if somebody rolls behind, films me, or video. I mean, I don't care. It, it, you know, if you followed me home, I'd probably have a problem. Uh, I'd probably sucker your ass down some alley or something and, and get you to follow me, either the police station or handle it some other way. Uh, but if you're just filming me and I'm in a public place, well, I don't, I don't really care. So anyway, uh, this guy got upset and he calls the cops. Nobody's threatening you. <laughs> so they're kind of instigating with this guy because he got upset they're filming okay so look this isn't a big deal as a cop you show up these things people are pissed you're like dude they filmed you go on about your business they didn't commit a crime you guys whatever man don't don't, don't escalate this into a fight and make it a criminal offense i got better things to do come on here and babysit you dumbasses leave i mean that's probably how i would have handled this but not this cop. You're lying piece of shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna... <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Madam, are you gonna do something about that? Just flip him off. So now they kind of flip him off. They're, they're, they're really instigating this guy. And and again, if you if you come in contact with an idiot, it, they're easy to instigate. But whatever. Um, so this guy's calling 911, and <laughs> so, so they go down and make a U-turn, and uh, you know, I mean, it's on his phone. <laughs> oh man, that's being camera inged. A parking spot. I don't know. All right, so here comes the oh, yeah. cop. Color world. The camera. Hang on. Six five. I'm bumping. Okay, now supposedly, I don't know what's true, this cop says he's off duty, someone says he's off duty, he's got his vest on, and he's got lights on his car, and he says it's not the county's car, it's his car. I don't know if that's true. Some agencies do buy cops cars, or they give you a money, like Hawaii is one for sure. All Hawaii cops own their cars. They put a blue light on when they're working, and when they're off, they get to drive it. It's their car. And basically, the county, you know, or, or Hawaii gives them an allowance, whatever their car payment is, and they pay their car payment, but it's their car. So it's a good deal for Hawaii cops. I think it's a waste of taxpayer money, but anyway, uh, there's pros and cons to it. They have a lot of cars. If it's their car, they'll drive it and keep it cleaner. Uh, they get a better reset, whatever. Ah. So Detective to Sergeant Blau also is the arresting officer. He ends up arresting them later. Yep. So he doesn't make contact with this guy, which might lead me to believe he either knows this guy or this guy on the phone has convinced dispatch that he's being stalked or there's two people following him or something. We don't know what the 911 call is. So Better do it. Hurry, here he comes. So this is the police department, if you want to call or go to their Google rating. They got a 3.9. Wow, they must be pretty good. I'll probably go give them a shitty rating and say this cop is a tyrant. So before everybody starts giving me shit, this guy's got tattoos. And he has a ego the size of his freaking uh, undercover car. And he is definitely the typical arrogant I am God, I am a cop, I have a gun, you don't, and I can treat you like shit. And you're going to see that. <sighs> so these guys are laughing and having a good time. 
The way this guy gets out of the car, it doesn't look like he's in threat. It doesn't look like the 911 call said, hey, I'm in danger. I'm afraid of these guys. There doesn't appear to be any fear through his behavior whatsoever. <laughs> hello. He says hello. Hi. What's going on? Notice the tattoos. Okay, so this is this is pretty funny. This is where these guys, he goes, hey, what's going on? This is what's called a consensual conduct. And this is where the courts would have a problem with that. You can't make consensual contact when you activate your lights. When you activate your lights, you're going under government authority, which constitutes an detention. And without reasonable suspicion of a crime, you can't be detaining people. So this guy activates his lights to confuse the pesky citizens that this is a lawful detention, and these guys don't fall for it and say, fuck you. We didn't call you. I don't answer questions. He did. Okay, we'll go talk to him. No, I'm going to be talking. No, to you're him. not going to talk to me. Notice he he is very uh, condescending. Talks down to him like you're fucking stupid. I'm smart, and then he loses it. And he these guys really make him look like the fool he is. Yeah, yeah. You ain't yeah. gonna talk. You ain't gonna talk to me at all. I ain't got shit to say to you. Not nothing. So go talk to the guy that called you. In that in that procedure, when a no. complaining party calls, you go talk to the complaining. No. party. Actually, that is procedure. You always want to make contact with the complaining party so you can get what's going on, determine if there's a crime, and determine what's going on if you have a right to go over an ID or contact the other party so you can find out what's going on. Very rarely do cops, I can't even think of a situation, that I would go contact other people. Unless the reporting party said this person has a gun, and then I would go over them before I turned my back on them and started talking to someone else to determine or not whether or not there was a weapon. But no, no, you don't get sure it is. Like sure that. it is. Sure it is. Notice he keys his mic and he doesn't talk. Okay, this was a distractor. This he didn't know. This cop's pretty slow. He thinks he's smart. He's a sergeant. But he's really pretty slow because he really can't. He doesn't know how to articulate and to put these guys in their place. I would have had fun with these guys. But this guy gets off flustered and he just keys his mic to kind of look cool, to distract to give him a pause to think on how am I going to handle this and what am I going to do. You go talk to the complaining no, party? No, you don't get sure it is. Sure it is. Sure it is. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> go talk to him. He'll <laughs> this cop's a freaking goober. <laughs> Tell you what's going on. And then you can be like, oh, nothing illegal is going on. I can go back to doing my real job. See, a lot of said and then you could go back to eating your donut or finishing your donut. But anyway, I digress. Close your hood. No. Touch our vehicle. So he goes over and he touches the vehicle. Now, he may be able to justify that I couldn't see the license plate and I wanted to see the license plate. And these guys said, you can't touch our vehicle. Well, I'm not sure touching a vehicle is a crime. Um, probably shouldn't do it, but I don't think there's a law or something that prohibits him from touching a vehicle. If you listen to Lackluster, this guy should be... <laughs> Black is kind of funny because he the way he describes the cops are just <laughs> with such disdain. You are you don't are our vehicle. Listen, don't touch listen our vehicle. To you listen didn't pull us over. Yes, I no, did. No, you did not. We was parked here, idiot. See, he was kind of saying, I did pull you over. Now here is a touchy situation that most people don't understand. Once he activates his lights, it is considered a detention. Now he may be wrong and he may not be justified. But if you resist after he detains you, you should fight that it was unlawful later. I'm not saying I agree with it, people. I don't think it's right. I think it's bullshit. But the law is going to side with him if he activates his lights and says, I detained you. You don't have to be driving to be detained. I can activate my lights for you walking down a sidewalk and say, hey, come here. You can't leave. He hasn't really imposed on them leaving except by turning on his lights. If they get in the car and try to leave right now, he's going to say, you're detained, my lights are on. So he's really got him in a catch-22, even though it's unlawful, it's bullshit, he really had no reason to turn on his lights. Cops know how to manipulate the system and use it in their favor, and that's what this sergeant's doing. We were parked here. Okay. You didn't pull us over. Don't try oh, that shit. So he got caught, and he backs down again. He backed down when he keyed his radio and didn't say anything. And he backs down again. This cop is not that swift. He doesn't know what he's doing. And every time he gets caught, he kind of backs off. What the hell's wrong with you? 
So obviously the other cops show up. When there's a sergeant here, he's a sergeant. Most cops just say, he's handling it. We're just here for backup. Had he not got involved, these other cops would have showed up and they would have handled it. But since he's already here, and whether or not he's off-duty or not, I don't know if he was off-duty or not and just threw his vest on. The, the way he pulled his badge out, I would guess he's off-duty. But if he's a detective and he's working plain clothes, he could have been following people. But he's got a big old freaking light here on his car, on an undercover. That used to always kill me. I got a big-ass spotlight on my undercover car. Really? You're not really undercover, dude. Whatever. Go talk to the guy who called you. I got a camera on you, too. That's good. Officer Anelli, 376. You can't see it? It's right there. You can't read it. Is that what you tell them? Notice the aggressive approach. Now, the news media later will say that the, the, the guys, the auditors, the guys filming, freaking media, I love their name, uh, was the aggressive. This cop is the aggressor this whole time. The judge smart ass? Yeah, I don't have to answer your question. Yeah, you do. You're, no, a servant, you're a public servant, bitch. No, I don't. You're a public servant, bitch. No, I don't. You work for the public. You're paid by tax dollars. Okay. Your policy and code of conduct for your agency requires you identify by name. <laughs> Cops kind of funny there. See, that's what I would have been doing. I would have been messing with. I'm like, really? Wow, man. You guys are smart. Shit. You guys should be. You know what? I got an application in the car. You want to give me an application? <laughs> See, I mean, I just don't understand why you have to get into. You know why? Because the arrogant ego that I every. It, when, you, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a freaking nail. So this guy just looks at every pesky citizen as a way that I'm going to control you and show you I'm boss and, and threaten to take you to custody and take you to jail. Name and badge number to oh a member of the goodness. public when they ask. Really? Yeah. My God, are you Yeah, brilliant. he is an arrogant little pigo. Yeah. Pigotistical. <laughs> He's picking her to shit, though. That's for sure. <laughs> Look, guys can assault. I mean, I just don't understand cops. They got... I can't tell you the number of times guys called me names and flipped me off and grabbed their dick and said, suck. I mean, I don't know where these cops work to where that really offends you and you have to. It, see, it's obviously you don't have a real crime to deal with if you're really trying to make a crime out of some bullshit like this. There's plenty of real crime out there unless you're a pussy and you're scared of real crime. And for you, real crime is doing a traffic ticket or, or, or harassing somebody with a camera. Then, 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 you know, that just puts you in a pussy category. He says he pulled us over. Really? No, we was parked there. Hey, look, do you not see? See, he activated his lights, which means he's detained him. But see, he's not explaining that to him. He could have said, look, guy, once I turn on my lights, you guys are detained. You don't have to be driving. You're detained, and I'm here for an investigation. This guy made a complaint. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Let's wait till we hear what's going on. He could have handled this so much better. But he wanted to handle with arrogant, tough, from a position of I'm in charge and I'll take you to jail if you mess with me. My life I don't give a shit. I see your big ass tattoo that looks like you got it at a freaking junkyard. You you you, you grabbed a freaking uh, radio antenna off a car and gave yourself a tattoo. If you're going to get a tattoo, dude, at least pay for something that freaking looks decent. About your lights? I don't give a Boy, shit about your lights. You, over, you, you can't pull us over when we're parked because we didn't commit a traffic violation, idiot. Okay, so these guys are wrong. If you're going to be an auditor, you ought to know the law. He can detain you. The lights are at attention. His lights are no different than me saying, hey, stop. You're being detained. No difference. I'm exercising government authority, and I've exercised one under the color of authority with my powers to detain you. If I'm wrong, you can argue that later. But at that point, you're detained. And if you resist, run, or do something, then it can be fall under resisting, depending on the state and their law. Idiot. You're a dummy. <laughs> so these guys, he's having a stare down. This guy is so pissed right now. He wants to reach over and grab this guy, which, all right, whatever. He doesn't like this guy. But if you are so tough and want to reach over and grab him, take your badge and gun off and confront him man to man where you can't put him in jail and have the government authority and power and all your blue line bullies backing you up. If you're really a tough guy, that's what you would do. <laughs> Hell, I was behind my car when I pulled in here. Right, right. You pulled up the old right. car and then outside the car. Right. Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah. So this guy is laughing. I would assume they either know this guy, this guy's part of the neighborhood, and this is kind of like, we're going to give him service, but we really can't do anything. Yeah, what you, what, what'd you pull us over for then? Oh, I'm not answering. Oh. He got caught again. Do you see that pause and that? 
I mean, his body behavior sucks. I mean, for being a sergeant, he he's freaking weak, man. If I was interviewing this dude, you, I, I'd eat your ass up. Dude, you, you're just a fucking dummy. Watch this cop take this big breath like, ah, ah. He doesn't know what to say because he knows yeah, he's wrong. What'd you, what, what'd you pull us over for then? Oh, I'm not answering. Oh, okay. You don't you have a reason. You don't. You don't have a. Well. See again. He could have simply said, "I pulled you over, or I stopped you, or I detained you. You were already parked. I turned on my lights and activated my lights, so other officers know where I'm at. I'm going under the color of authority, and I wanted you to know I'm a police officer. So you couldn't say I'm not a cop. That's why I turned on my lights. Okay. Pretty simple. No, I got to be a dick." I gotta show my tattoos. But when you pull somebody over, you have to tell them what you pulled them over for. So if you don't we have artic if you don't have a, articulable suspicion, we got a complaint that there's a threat I don't care. Here. So yeah, I don't care I do what have, he said. And I'm going to be People don't lie. You. People no, I you won't. Be, oh, oh yes. no. You okay, so now he's kind of articulating what he did, which he could have done if he wouldn't, if he wasn't so upset and thinking of a way to peace. He's looking for a reason to arrest this guy. When you're an auditor. You better be like a midget at a urinal and always on your toes because these cops are going to be watching for every second and every move you make. And if you misstep one second and they can get a violation, they're not worried about getting sued. If they can arrest you and make it anywhere near semi-legal, your ass is going in cuffs. And then they're going to get you for resisting if you don't. And they'll probably break your camera and do something. So you better know that you're not stepping over the line because these cops will get you. You oh, will yes, not. I you will. ain't getting my ID numb nuts. Oh, yes, you ain't you getting my ID numb nuts. I promise you. Hey, I That's pretty funny. I like that. You're not getting my ID numb nuts. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of torn because I really like these numb nuts guys, but that they're they're not as smart as they think they are. And this cop definitely is as smart as he thinks he is. That guy called a bunch of armed gunmen out here for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. Oh, he called them and said he's making threats. Gunmen? Even though we got it all on video, nobody ever threatened anybody. Yes or no? Do you? It's none of your business. Question, I don't answer your questions either. You must think I'm fucking stupid. You are fucking I stupid. I don't answer your questions you're either. Very good, you're doing a good enough job proving that right now. Yeah. He doesn't prove how stupid he Boy, is. you guys are brilliant. I think this guy was working on a car. He's got a big old oil stain right here. Rick, why are you picking out his tattoos? Like, whatever. <laughs> Obviously smarter than you are. Please tell me you are not a Oh, he is. He's a dick detective. A <laughs> dick detective? I'd have laughed at that one. I would, dude, that's a good one. I'm going to use that on some of the detectives I don't like. <laughs> he inspects dicks. He detects dicks. <laughs> he said he's going to identify me. I bet he don't. I know, right? Any of them. Yep. What crime? Hey. You you have 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 wrong. Okay, so this cop goes out of line here. This guy can walk up in a public place and video his car. He's not committing any crime. This cop commits battery when he puts his hands on this guy. Bullshit. You can get away from the hey, you can bite that. You can get away from hey. Put his hands and pushed him and assaulted him. He assaulted him under the color of authority while armed. And the guy did not commit a crime. This guy should be charged. But he won't be. Because the government will protect government and the DA will not charge him. And that's why we have tyrannical cops. I mean, look, man, if I was here and I saw this guy doing this, I would be saying, dude, you need to chill out, man. Back away. They got they got your goat. We'll handle it. And every cop gets there sometime. Some dude just gets you in a bad mood and they catch you the wrong way. And you're just fucking like, all right, motherfucker, I'm making you my mission today. And you, you got to have either your, your your common sense to go, all right, I'm too emotionally attached here. I'll let my ego get in the way. I need to back the hell down. Or you need a buddy, your partner usually, that says, dude, I got it, man. Go, go, go sit in the car. I got it. I got you. And then you leave and you let him handle it because he's not involved. I mean, again, and I tell people this all the time, when we get in a chase and we're chasing some dude, the primary guy never gets involved or transports with the suspect. We always let the other cops do it because they're not as emotionally attached when you're chasing somebody. You get this like, holy shit, he's trying to kill me. He almost killed that person. He's making me risk my life chasing him. And I know you don't have to chase him. No duty to act now. But hey, keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. No, you don't. You don't get to put your hands on people. What the hell's wrong with you, dude? Actually, he does. So once again, the auditors are wrong. 
Not only does he does he get to do it, he does it. And he's not going to be charged. No. That bad stone went to your damn little head, didn't it? Take a walk. Go get away from you my take car. a walk. I'll stand where get I want to stand. I'll car, stand. Not yours. It ain't your car. He says, yeah, get away from my get car. Away. We pay for it. He yeah, said, okay. get away from my get car. Away. Don't the taxpayers fund for the, no. don't the taxpayers pay for that no, car? That one's mine. That's your personal? Yep. But it's yep. being used. It's being yep. used in public. That's my personal car. Got lights and this. I wonder who paid for all that. Did he pay for all that himself? Man, he really is ate up if he paid for all that himself. Public service. Yeah. So it's a public vehicle. Here, here's the VIN number. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So again, he told him to get away from the car and he videotaped and he didn't leave the car. Again, he, he wants to make threats and appear that he knows, but he really doesn't know the law. And he's, he's just, he's making himself look like an idiot. You notice the other cops are just standing there like, dude, why are you fucking... Yeah, Sarge, you need to put this little bitch in check. <laughs> now, again, you first submitted auditors need to know the law. I don't know where this is at. Uh, I'll have to look it up. I didn't look at the state or anything. But you need to look up their laws on disorderly conduct because a lot of states have passed bullshit disorderly conducts that says if you use profanity in public, if you use California is fighting words, if you use words that is likely to provoke a violent response, that can be disorderly conduct. California went one step further and said, cops, peace officers cannot be the victim of disorderly conduct. You need a third party. So cops can't do exactly what this guy is doing. Put this little bitch in check. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, what the fuck? I'm a sergeant. I'm a police officer. I just had a motherfucking Krispy Kreme with freaking sprinkles. And you're going to talk to me that way? This dude's a goober, man. Hey, you ever hear, you ever hear Notice the sergeant is pulling him back. When, when other cops know that you're out of control and they're pulling you back, we call that a clue. Of, uh, of, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These media, freak, the, the freaking media dudes are pretty funny, man. But <laughs> this cop gets frustrated. He is so emotionally involved that he can't even freaking talk. Hey, you ever hear, you ever hear of, uh, of, uh, 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 spit it out, it ain't yours. All spit it out, it ain't yours. It's called freedom of speech, motherfucker. Now what? Fuck you. This is free. Gee, we think we got this guy holding him back and this guy holding him back. Hmm. So everybody's always cracking on how bad the cops are. These two cops are doing the right thing. All right. Now, are they doing a complete right thing? Should they have arrested him when he assaulted him? In a perfect world, yes. But agencies of the same agency are not going to arrest another cop when they do something wrong. At best, they will be a witness and they will tell the truth when they're asked. At worst, they will say, I wasn't watching and I didn't see anything. That's normally what cops do. You're right, it is, but you don't have those freedoms when you're on duty. It, you have duties, not rights, dummy. This, this sergeant, <laughs> you're going to love this. He's the public relations officer for this agency. <laughs> He's the one that deals with the media. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you get a, what, before, before a press conference, he slams his hand in the door so he gets in a right mindset. What the? Get some time off for that one. Yeah, you are. You're definitely getting some time off for that one, partner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the complaints come in? What's the phone calls roll in? Uh-uh. Don't touch it. I think they probably told him, man, why don't you just leave? Because you're escalating this and you're too fucking involved. Your tattoos have gone to your head. Now, you don't get to get our property. He can't leave. Hey, He's still got to come in. Off of get the fuck off my get car. Your hands off. Don't touch our car. Don't touch the car. Dumbass. So they, they had to get the plates. Was that legal? Uh, I think it probably would pass court. They're going to say the car was in a public parking lot. It was in public. We couldn't read the plate. Uh, we didn't want to get involved with IDing and all the other bullshit. We wanted to get the license plate, so we put it down. Could they have went to the front and taken a picture of the VIN number? Yes. Could they have went to the front of the car and read the plate upside down or took a picture and then turned it over? Yes. They exerted their authority. They they kind of forced their way in. They put their hands on the car. Is that the best way? No, but it's it's a tyrannical world we live in right now. Yes. Yeah, you'll get a complaint too. 
Wow, y'all a bunch of bitch ass tyrants up here, ain't you? <laughs> I like these guys. Bunch of bitch ass tyrants. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming for your job, cocksucker. Come for it. I am. For it. I'm coming for your job. I'm coming for your. Yeah, this guy's in control. This guy passed a psych exam. This is a public servant. This is the guy we're going to give a gun to and tell you that you shouldn't have guns. You pesky citizens, when we give you guns, we know you can't handle it. You don't have the training that we do to have guns. Only us should have guns. I mean, it's just crazy when people think it's a good idea when only government has guns. Your job. And he slaps and assaults him again. Not once, but twice. Raise your hand if you think this guy is going to get charged by the DA. It's freaking bullshit. He should absolutely be charged. I'm trying to see if it says the state on this uh, patch. Yeah, I can't read it. The cop almost has to literally put the sergeant in a car. Here, let me put you in your little car seat because you're out of control. You're throwing a little hissy fit. Let me put you in a little car seat. Go have another donut. You'll be okay. You're a little dick sucker. You ain't shit without that badge and gun, punk. I agree with him. He's not. This guy is is out of freaking control. You ain't shit without that badge and gun. So he's got to roll down and continue the confrontation. Rick, he needs more training in de-escalation. It's not more training. It's holding them accountable for the training they got. Every cop gets de-escalation. No cop is taught to do this. No cop is told this is okay. They already know what they're not supposed to do. And then I got idiots in the comments coming here. Rick, they need more training. Yeah, more training, more money, more taxpayer, and then we don't hold them accountable. It's not a training issue. It is an accountability issue. Stop using the narrative that the media and, and everyone else in the police departments want you to think so they can get more money. They can act like this, and then they can go, we need more training for money. We need more money for training. Yeah, that's what we need. More money, more training. More training, more money. Yeah, that's what we need. So we get to keep acting like that. It's accountability and holding them responsible. You can't train somebody out of being a freaking asshole. You ain't shit without it. You little, you, you're dismissed. I'm little, sitting here. I'm little, freedom of speech. Little, little, little Willy Wonka here. munchkin motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God, these guys are killing me. And they got this guy hook, line, and sinker. They might as well have a freaking donut tied to the end of a fishing pole and just dangle it from this guy because he's going to bite every fucking time. <laughs> oh, now you're you fucking idiot. I'm just letting you know you need to back up. Yeah, yeah. Guys, you tell him to here. back off. I am. Give me a second here. Yeah, tell him to back off. Now he's blocking the vehicle. That's unlawful detainment. Let him talk to him. Move. Can you guys move? No, I don't have to move. Please? Put the dog back on a leash. Yeah, put him on a leash. <laughs> oh, now you're trying to drive yourself into the car. You yeah. Shit. Wow, a bunch of tyrants here. So now he's driving around with his lights on. Look out! Look at me! Look at me! I'm yeah. important. I got power. Woo! Look at my wow, lights. Wow! Y'all are a bunch. Of woo! 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 I'm surprised he didn't play the with the tyrants. Here, guys. I can see the complaint. Notice there's no lights on these cars. Only the arrogant, big, tough guy. It's filing now. Y'all finna get about three, four thousand phone calls or more. <laughs> What's your name and badge number? You bent my trunk. Uh oh! Lawsuit. <laughs> wow! Bye, bitch. <laughs> Now, yeah. I think they go to the station. Wait a minute, you need to go many So, after all this, this guy doesn't have the common sense to say, I don't want to deal with these guys. They have pissed me off enough. I just don't want to deal with he still doesn't have that knowledge or or be able to look within himself that this isn't working. I mean, it, this is just crazy. He ends up detaining these guys and arresting them and then letting them go an hour later. Unlawful arrest. Does he care? No, he's not going to get charged. He's already assaulted him twice. He's violated a lot of them. How many times? He's not going to get charged. You know, everybody's like, oh man, the mayor relieved him of duty. Big deal. He gets paid. They're going to do an investigation. They get to say he's under investigation. He gets paid time off. And then he comes back and they go, ah, these guys were out of control. They were provoking. It was their fault. You should have handled it better. We're going to send you some more training on de-escalation to make everybody happy. Okay. How about that? Great. 
I think you need to just take yourself out of the situation because right now, what you have is a conflict of interest. Okay, so you need to go away. Again, we're looking for crimes. Now we're into loitering. Before, it was like you're going to show me your ID. Now you're going to do this. Now you're going to do that. Now I'm going to hit you twice. I'm going to assault you twice. Now I'm going to come out and try to get you for loitering. This cop is freaking out of control. Nobody can control this guy because he's a sergeant. Nobody can just say, dude, you're fucking escalating this. Knock this shit off. If you can't read, I don't know what to tell you. My name is I right don't there. See you don't see your badge number. Right there. Right there. That's my last right name. There. Right there. Film it. Uh, here's my pick up. Here. More bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, you have to oh, leave. Yeah, you're going to leave. You can no, no, stay in the lobby. No, you got to Like, you got to have to anything. Oh, yeah. Free something. Yes. You. Thank you. Have a conflict. You need to go. You need to exit. You need to go. I'm going to have your badge number, please. Come here. Come here. Can you read or are you ignorant? You're ignorant. So now he's calling people of the public ignorant, using words that would excite violence or uh, uh, provoke a, a violent response. He's going to start calling people names under the color of authority at the police department, threatening to arrest them. Man, this see my badge there? there? I didn't okay. How to fuck shit up? What a freaking arrogant punk! All right, we'll end that there. Hell, I'm at 31 minutes. This is a funny video. Y'all have a good one. Earning the hate, mister.